Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my Code to Care video series. I'm diving into the concept of agentic AI and how you can use agents to solve more complicated problems than just a simple single LLM call. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the concepts of LLMs in a loop or agents in a loop. Um, and I'm going to use the example I used in a prior video around writing a marketing plan uh, for a new product. And so imagine, um, uh, actually, let me just take a step back. So agents and LLMs can do a number of things, only one of which you've probably done. So they can write. They can write, we originally, when ChatGPT came out, we had it write poems and can write scripts and it can write marketing plans and it can write, um, you know, initial papers. It can write code. You know, these are the, it, it does a lot of writing and that's probably the main thing that you've used it for, that everybody uses it for. But there's a couple of things that it can do, one of which we're going to explore in this video. It can make decisions. So you probably used ChatGPT to give you input and you made the decision, but you can actually have these agents and these LLMs make decisions, specific decisions. Uh, and they can also take action. And this concept of uh, agentic AI is really exploring using this technology to not only write, but to make decisions and to take action and to have these things sort of drive more, um, you know, more impact uh, in our world and be even more helpful than just as a writing, as a writing tool. So, uh, so I'm going to go into this example of putting LLMs in a loop, and we're going to add this notion of having LLMs make decisions. Okay, so let's structure this a little bit. So what we're going to have here on top is what I'm calling an orchestrator. Orchestrator. So this particular agent is going to organize the whole process here. We're going to have a writing agent. And the use case is writing a marketing plan for a new product that we're launching. So the orchestrator is going to call the writing agent and say, can you write me a marketing plan for this product? And there's going to be an agent, which I described in a prior video, called a critiquing agent. Critiquing agent. And this agent will read the marketing plan, read the product description, and provide feedback into that marketing plan. So you could drive that back and write a new revision of it. And then what we're going to do is add a third agent here. And the agent is, I'm just going to call it, is a done agent. And basically what this agent is going to do it's going to uh, take the product description, take the marketing plan, read it, and the question we're asking this agent is, is this marketing plan good enough for the final version, good enough for my company to use, or do you think it would benefit from critique and benefit from a revision? Okay? So the orchestrator is going to put these in a loop. It's going to write a plan, then it's going to ask if it's done. If it's not done, it's going to uh, ask another agent to critique it. Then it's going to ask to write again. Then it's going to ask, is it done again? And if it no, it's going to critique it. And it's going to put this into a loop. And then um, at some point, we would hope that the is it done agent is going to say, yes, it's done. And the whole loop will stop. OK, so this is the notion of having one of these agents make decision, make a decision whether it's done or not, and then putting this kind of whole group of agents into a loop um, until the is it done agent thinks we're all done. So that's the model. Uh, I'm going to now go back to the computer and show you what that looks like uh, in code and just see how it works. And then we can critique whether this produces a better product than uh, than the simple just calling it to write it once. Okay, let's see. Hey there, I'm just popping in to say that I'd love to hear your comments and feedback on this video. I read all the comments, so let me know what you think. Let me know what suggestions you have for my next video by uh, putting in some comments uh, below the line here. Thanks. All right, let's take a look at what that looks like in, uh, in code. 
So I am, forget these top cells. This is a Jupyter notebook. Uh, this code is Python, um, but it's not too complicated. I'm just setting up uh, two, two um, large language models. One is OpenAI, that's set up here. Uh, and the other is XAI, um, which is a different, different model. Uh, and then, um, and then there are three agents. Uh, this is the writing plan agent, and you can see the prompt here attaches a new product description. Um, at least for the first time you write it, where there's no prior plan. Here's the product description. Please write me a marketing plan. Okay. And when there is a prior plan, like you're doing a revision. I just changed the prompt slightly. Here's a product description. Here's this. Here's a, a critique. Here's the marketing plan that was written, the prior version. Here's a critique of that marketing plan. Please write a next version of the plan. So that's basically what this prompt is. Um, so that's agent number one, the writing agent. Agent number two, actually, let me go down here. Agent number two is the critiquing agent. So attached is the product description. Attached is the marketing plan please provide a critique of that plan. So that's what that agent does. And the third agent is the determine if final agent. I forget what I called it on the board. It was, uh, um, yeah, if final or something like that. Um, so that one says, here's the product description. Here's the marketing plan. Can you assess whether this marketing plan is good enough to be final? And please respond with either, um, the word yes in between these final tags or the word no in between these final tags. And please explain your rationale. We won't actually use the rationale, but sometimes that helps the model uh, do a better job. So those are the three agents, just so you see what they look like when they work. Let me just run them not in the loop. So this, this is the agent that writes the plan. So I send it the product description uh, and then it goes off and writes a marketing plan and we'll take a quick look at it in a second. Okay. Okay. So there is the marketing plan. Um, and I won't study it uh, too much right now. The determine if final, uh, let's take a look at that agent. And that's going to read the plan and answer the question whether it's final or not. We'll see what that says. And that said, no, it's not final. So it's either true or false. Uh, and this is the the uh, the third agent, the critiquing agent, or the second second one, the way I described it. Uh, the critiquing agent. This is reading the plan and providing a critique of it. Okay, so that's uh, strengths, areas for improvement, blah blah blah. Uh, and this is the loop. So now I'm gonna I'll just explain this code briefly. So I'm writing an initial version of the plan. Uh, I'm only running the loop at most 10 times. Uh, I'm saving each version of the plan. Uh, um, then I'm, for this first version, I'm asking if it's final, just in case the first version uh, is final. Uh, and if it's ever final, I'm gonna stop this loop. Then if it's not final, I'm gonna critique it. I'm gonna write a new version of the plan, and then it's gonna go again. I'm gonna save the plan. I'm gonna determine if that's final. So we get into the, Loop. So what I'm going to do now is run the loop and let's see how many times it goes through before it determines whether it's final or not. So you can see here it's uh, writing the plan. Reading it to determine if it's final. Uh, it did not find it to be the final version, so now it's critiquing it. Okay, now it's sending that critique along with the prior version of the plan to the writing agent for it to write a new revision of the plan. Okay, so we have a second revision now. Now it's reading that revision to determine if it's final. Nope, not final yet. So now we're critiquing the plan. Again, the new version of the plan. Now we're sending that critique and the prior version to the writing agent to write a new version of the plan. 
So this would be the third version of the plan now. Okay, now we have the third version. So now we're going to send it to the um, decision maker to determine if this is final, to get a yes or a no. Uh, and it determined this was a good plan, so it stopped. So now we have uh, two, we have three revisions of the plan, and we have a, the third version. It determined it was good enough to be final. So I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the printer, print out these three versions of the plan, and give you what I what I think uh, occurred. All right. Okay. So uh, let me just re I'll I'll, I'll uh, tell you what I found when I printed these out. First of all, it did did uh, write three different marketing plans. Um, and uh, each one got um, more flushed out, I think. You know, there's a richer competitive analysis in the third one, for instance, uh, than the other two. Uh, interestingly, by the time it got to the second one, the formatting was a lot better. I don't know if you can tell, but I can't tell. Uh, in my other video, I do a little bit more careful analysis of the, of the various revisions, but the plans got better. Um, and I do think we have a final version here that we could, um, you know, draw, draw from as a useful uh, tool. So, um, so that was it. That's uh, this concept of LLMs in a loop using a couple different agents, uh, mostly writing agents, but one of which is a decision agent, deciding whether we should do A or B and let that dictating the next steps in the algorithm. So this was a very simple example of an agent that's a decision-making agent. But in future videos, I'll show you uh, more elaborate examples, and you could start to see where uh, agents and thinking of using Gen AI in an agent-based way, this agentic AI uh, style, can allow you to do more sophisticated workflows, more things on your own, really enable uh, and depend on the software to do more for you than just write you a document. Um, so that's it uh, for today. Hope that was interesting. Uh, and until next time, bye. Hey there, I hope you liked this video. Um, I've added a next video at the end of this. So um, so take a look at that if you, uh, if you enjoyed this. And if something resonated with you, please drop uh, a comment um, at, um, uh, down below here. I read every comment. Uh, myself, and I really appreciate hearing from you. Thanks.